Hey, Red Lipstick Club. We're back again. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video. And of course, share this out with your friends. Also, don't hit, forget to hit the notifications because I've been going live now. And if you don't have all notifications, you won't know if I jump on here live and I want to chat with you. So make sure you hit the notifications when you hit subscribe. But I thought I would come back and kind of talk about some of the different areas this episode five triggered for me to speak more about. If you haven't watched my review on episode five, you guys, it's just the last video. Check it out. See how I felt about the episode. I did break it down by segments and I feel like that's the easiest way to go about it. But I really wanted to talk about what really stood out to me about this episode. Number one, I was excited that episode five, not excited, but I, I felt, um, Hmm. Give me another way. Th not validated, but mildly fulfilled by the episode simply because I think it filled in some conversation gaps because the whole episode was like a long conversation and there wasn't as much filler or fluff. It was really taking one conversation between different groups and spreading that conversation out. And did you guys also notice there wasn't much Cody in this? Like he was here in and out in the confessionals, but a bulk of what happened in these episodes were seeing the sister wives seemingly in two different groups and their two different cliques having conversations about how they're perceiving the family and what's going on. But this episode, I had to talk about Cody and how I believe Cody is the full catalyst. He he basically is completely to blame, not completely, but 95% to blame for the breakdown and all the friendships of the sister wives. This episode really stood out to me for that when Mary and Robin were having a conversation and why, why Mary decided to bring this up as some sort of suggestion that this is Cody favoring Christine or treating Christine fairly. This is in fact the complete opposite for me. It showed an example of how Cody would use his wives to pit, pit each other against one another. And this is when Mary brought up the instance years ago where they, when they lived in Wyoming, Cody bought her, bought Christine multiple gifts for Christmas and didn't get anything for Mary. And I sat and thought about that because when that happened, you 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 cut to Christine bring, talking about that subject. And Christine says, why would you not get something for your wife? And it made it made it look as though Christine was favored when in fact it really was just an opportunity for Cody, number one, to create division between the two. And also it made made it so that that one wife thought in that moment they were better or that based off behavior, this is how he would respond to you and this is how he would treat you. So it seems as though he was trying to relegate his love and affections to behaviors from the beginning. And this instance where he doesn't get married something and gets Christine everything is just a clear example of how he was trying to pit these women against each other. Then comes back around and wonders why they don't get along or wonders why the wives now don't get along with Robin. I feel you guys, he actually isolated Robin and made it difficult for Robin to be able to form any real friendships with these women by making sure that he, and even he knew, spending most of his time with her. He knew it would it would create jealousy amongst the other wives, thus making it next to impossible for Robin to form relationships and loyalties with the wives outside of him. And don't they say that's what a narcissist does? They typically separate you from your family, from your friends, limiting your your uh, connections and, op and opportunities to connect with other people. So you're solely dependent on them. I feel like that's exactly what Cody did. And obviously spending that much time with your husband will make you feel good. But I don't even think Robin understood that even Cody was manipulating her and setting her up for what her life is like now with, with the other wives. I think he knew that she wasn't that bright and that he could be manipulative as well. And favored her to be able to slowly distance her from the other wives to create that that division. And I think that's why he's always so mad about the Christine and Janelle situation because I think he tried everything to create a division between those two so that ultimately their main loyalty would be to him and not to each other. And instead, it ended up backfiring 
And now those women had to band together to really keep their kids up and motivated and connected. And now they're best friends and he's kind of left in the dust. So I just thought that was one, one instance in this episode that really stood out for me that said, this guy has been planning this all along. He, he has never aided in his wife's truly being friends or having a solid friendship with each other. You also look in how he brought Janelle into the family. Number one, you're bringing Janelle in and she was married to Mary's brother. Right away, that's that's shaky. You know, that's already going to create some issues. Number two, he was able to, I guess, mentally connect with Janelle. They had more in common, so they would talk more. They would connect more. Well, he wasn't doing any of that with Mary. So automatically, that's going to have Mary looking at Janelle as competition from the beginning. That's, it's, it's not helping. So I, unfortunately, yes, could have could the wives have made these things better? Sure. But Cody number one, alienating affection, giving unto others that he's not giving to all of the wives, not being equal with his affection and his time with all the wives, all those things played a part in why these women have for the most part, terrible relationships. And now we're seeing that, unfortunately, impact the children because this man cannot separate his feelings for his wives or his feelings from his children. He he has like little to no emotional capacity to do any of that. I don't know, you guys. I want you to tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think Cody uses manip manipulation tactics to really force all these wedges within the wives. Do you think had he been a better husband, not as manipulative, do you think that would have aided in these friendships actually developing between these wives? Or do you think, like Mary said, it has nothing to do with Cody. It was just the personalities of the wives. I don't know, you guys. I'm going back and forth on it. I'm kind of seeing a mixture of both, but I'm leaning more towards it's Cody's problem. He created this. And now he's mad at the outcome. Either way, you guys, thanks for joining me. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share this video out. Like I said, go in those comments. Tell me how you think. I want to know if you think Cody is the reason why these people are not friends anymore. Until next time. See ya.